Hi guys, so TDS just dropped a very big update and you can see that they changed the entire lobby. So we have this new area for special game modes. So you can see we have this monster, pizza party and cowboy or badlands. And then when you click, there are three different missions. The bad thing about this is that they like numbered the mission. And if a new person is playing these, he might think that like you have to do these in order. And then when you click on one of the game mode, it just opens up the old menu. And then we have the survival. They just made it a bit tinier and same old menu and finally we have hardcore statue where we can use the matchmaking system for hardcore now this elevator area used to be so full but finally we can now go into hardcore using matchmaking so that's awesome and then we also have this new thing called challenges map so there's this commander and you can play certain challenges and it's going to reward you so for example right now we have juggernaut i think it's just similar to missions and it's going to be same for everyone and you can see that it rewards you two nukes 125 gems four tickets and 400 xp so that's the new lobby and you can just click start challenge and it should display the normal matchmaking so just like that and there's a brand new skin for the ace pilot so let's go ahead and take a look at that so here's the brand new ace pilot level zero as you can see it's a completely different plane and we have two guns mounted on the sides and then level one and two remains same no significant changes but as soon as you go to level three we have a completely different plane and now it has a bomb attached underneath this is my favorite level for the new ace pilot rework and then when you go to level four it doesn't make any change again so level three and four remains same first three levels and finally we have this new plane and I really like this final level, but the only thing that I kind of don't like about it is that it feels a bit plasticky. So it's like made out of clay or something like that. So uh, it just like changes the skin. And then when you select this pilot, you have a new ability where you press F key and it just changes or it goes reverse. And then it just keeps going reverse until you, uh, you just change direction again. So basically you can change a direction every 10 seconds. So it has a 10 second cooldown and you can see it just keeps rotating. Next we have this flight path and you can select this figure 8 and then it's gonna like after a few seconds it's gonna start going in this 8 figure so just like that and if I select the ace pilot you'll see how it's sort of following that path underneath. So you can either use this default circle or this 8 figure and then when you select the default one it just like goes back into circling mode and then you can like switch directions so that's something super cool. And here we have like 16 ace pilots against the molten boss and we're gonna see how good it is so they um, did buff it a bit i think the damage was like 10 but now it's 12 so there's like a bit of increase in damage so let's see how good it, it is against a molten uh, boss 16 is pilots against a single molten boss but you can see that he's about to escape even though this was like a u-turn map uh, he's still about to escape so these ace pilots aren't enough uh, even 16 ace pilots yeah, aren't enough to uh, to beat this molten boss and he's about to escape, so we might need to take help from some other towers. And just like that, he escaped. So he escaped 16 ace pilots and summoned more of his minions. So if you even if you're playing duo, ace pilots uh, aren't enough to beat uh, Molten. You're gonna need other towers to beat him. So you can see like he was about to escape with like 10,000 health. So I'm just gonna place a few engineers. So that's the new reskin. I like the features, but it's still not like really good for beating uh, the game. But it's a good tower to have around.